Assalamu alaikum. I am Taufiq Umar from India. Please advise our youth how to use the social media in an Islamic way and what is prohibited in it, especially WhatsApp and Facebook. Social media, it has a huge reach. The most popular among the social media, it is the Facebook. It has more than 2.5 billion monthly active users after that it is youtube which has 2 billion monthly active users so social media it has a huge reach and social media per se it is not haram there are various social media platforms for example youtube facebook twitter instagram etc social media can be used for the good purpose or can be used for the bad purpose for example a knife it can be used for cutting fruits whereas the same knife can be used for killing human beings it depends upon how you use the knife similarly social media it depends upon how you use it but unfortunately majority of the people they use social media for non-beneficial things rather than beneficial things majority of the people they use social media for non-productive things rather than productive things whenever we are using social media we should see to it that we do not break any rule of the sharia it should be within the purviews of the islamic sharia and we should not break any rule of the sharia this is very important on youtube you have the advertisements and more than 95 percent of these advertisements they have something that is haram they either have women without hijab or they have music even facebook it has things that are haram women without hijab music obscenity nudity etc all these things they are available on facebook women dressed in inappropriate clothes so we should abstain from watching all of this. So whenever we are using social media, we should see to it that it is within the purviews of the Islamic Sharia and that we do not break the rules of the Islamic Sharia. And as you asked in your question regarding WhatsApp, WhatsApp, it is a messaging application which is a substitute for the telephone, email, fax, etc. And it is more used for halal rather than haram. It is used for the haram things. For example, chatting with the namahram, chatting with people of the opposite gender. Also, it is used for dating. So it is used for things that are haram. But whenever we are using it, we should see to it that we abstain from these things that are haram. And we have several channels on YouTube. In fact, majority of the channels, they involve in something that is haram. We have the example of T-Series, which is the most popular YouTube channel. It has no less than 123 billion views. Not million, billion. But it is used for the haram. Majority of the things on this channel, they involve in things that are haram. Women without hijab, music, women dressed inappropriately. They have huge popularity. And if we use it for propagating the message of Islam, inshallah, we will get reward for this. We can have daily videos. We can have monthly videos. We can have weekly videos. Because social media, it has a huge reach. So we should use it for our benefit and we should use it for conveying the message of Islam to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it. And every person who embraces Islam after hearing your lectures or after seeing any of your videos, you will get huge rewards for this. Whatever good deeds that person does, you will get a share of his rewards. So it is a very good opportunity for you to use the social media for conveying the message of Islam, whether it be YouTube, whether it be Facebook, even WhatsApp can be used for conveying the message of Islam. You can share good Islamic videos among your friends, among your colleagues, on groups, etc. 
So in this way, we can very well use the social media for our benefit and use it for conveying the message of Islam to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it.